Greetings all, it's Max and we're back and we're doing another movie review. Today we are talking about The Wood Carver and all that I've learned from this show I'll be able to show you at the end of the video. Carvin Wood. We're Carvin Wood stars John Ratzenberger also known as Cliff Clavin. That's the way that I refer to him. Cliff Clavin. What is this show about? Well, I will play the trailer. What happened to my wood? Oh, vandalism. Can you imagine? No. So what do you think? Did you replace it? I don't think so. Uh, no one else can match that detail. Writing graffiti, breaking windows at the church. We're extremely disappointed in you, Matthew. This is very serious. We won't bring criminal charges under the condition Matthew helps to fix what he destroyed. It's called wood. It's not just wood, it's maple. Some foolish person broke into pieces. So how can I fix what I did? Why don't uh, you and I work together and fix that church up, huh? I, I don't know anything about carving wood. Well, but I do. I can do that. You know, everybody makes mistakes. The key to that is how you make them right. You really think we could pull us off? Uh, never underestimate the power of belief. I mean, we're not going to make enough wood by the deadline. We need help. OK, but who? Well, you can help us. You're asking me for something I can't give. WWJD. What would Jesus do? Need help? Matthew, come on. Show your mom what to do. <laughs> See you, miss? He's Ernie now. <laughs> All right, Ernest, no problem. OK, so. How this show starts out is a, a young troubled boy who is upset with his family, upset with God, because he prayed that his family, I'm going to take this off because it's bothering me, upset with his family because they're having some issues. So he goes off and destroys a church. And they agree not to prosecute him as long as he helps rebuild the stuff that he broke. That is the basis of the story. Now, as it goes on, there might be some minor spoilers here. As it goes on, um, you have Cliff Clavin, who is the guy who actually built all of the church stuff. Um kind of like an Amish guy. He does it all by hand. And then you have a construction company who is doing things that is basically plastic. And they have a deadline and the church is going to go either way on it. And the boy comes to um, Cliff Clavin and Cliff Clavin lost his wife, kind of lost his faith a little bit wasn't very pronounced and this troubled kid kind of rejuvenates his faith and it's called what would Jesus do and it's part two um, I've seen the other ones they're not very good the WWJD series on uh, pure flicks none of them are very good this one is pretty good Okay, so you have a troubled kid and he's learning stuff from Cliff Clavin and in there the parents, well I, I can't spoil that, um, in there you have this sort of battling uh, between plastic and a guy who does stuff like the Amish do and does everything by hand. At the end of the day, this is an 8 out of 10 for Christian movies. Um, the other ones are bad. The ones that I've seen. I've seen about three of them. Three or four. The What Would Jesus Do series are bad. 
Okay, I mean, I mean not horrible bad, but they're just not done very good. This one was excellent. The actors did a great job. The little kid, well, he's not a little kid. He's like 15 or something like that. Um, not a professional actor. He's an executive producer. That's his thing. But he did a better job than most kid actors do. It was a good movie. It was a very good movie. And uh, I'll show you what I created with my wood carving. And there you have it. Um, at the end of the series, it was a good show. See, I managed to carve this out of wood. It's coming together nicely. I still have some more finishing pieces I need to do, but um, now we can make ice cream. Carved out of carved out of wood.